the things, one of the things every player dreams about. You'll have another chance, believe me. Right, Mario? One of the things every player dreams about is beginning and finishing his career with one team. Ed DeBartolo Sr. was the owner of the Penguins when Mario was drafted in 1984. Howard Baldwin and Roger Marino saw to it that Mario Lemieux's entire career would be played in front of each and every one of us. Please welcome the Pittsburgh Penguins owners, Howard Baldwin and Roger Marino. On behalf of the Penguins ownership group, Howard and Roger are presenting the following gifts to the Lemieux family. A Mediterranean cruise for Mario's parents, Jean Guy and Birette. The next gift is a one of a kind charm bracelet for Mario's lovely wife, Natalie. There's a lot of beautiful women in the Lemieux family because we are going to have three gold necklaces presented with the number 66 encrusted in diamonds to Mario's daughters, Lauren, Stephanie, and Alexa. and a plaque with a 14 karat gold hockey stick and custom made Stanley Cup medallion to Mario's son, Austin. <laughs> Wouldn't it be wonderful to call his name someday in a game? Yeah. At this time, Howard Baldwin and Roger Marino would like to present to Mario Lemieux a gold medallion commemorating this special night and a $250,000 check to the Mario Lemieux Foundation for Cancer Research. Well, you know, I've had an opportunity in my career to see almost every game that Mario Lemieux has played. And they've referred to him as Ace. That's one of his nicknames, big guy. I just call him 66. And frankly, Mario, you were a creative genius. But you forced me to work overtime <laughs> to find new phrases to say after your goals were scored. <laughs> and I got to tell you something. I loved every minute of it. As we reflect, as we reflect on the illustrious career of Mario, there is one common thread that unites all of us. Mario gave everything within his power to the hockey fans of Western Pennsylvania. And the fans, and the fans of Western Pennsylvania gave everything within their power back to Mario Lemieux. We have been so blessed to see so many great athletes in all sports in this area. And I know I echo the voice of the fans, Mario, when I say thank you, Mario, from each and every one of us. And now, before we hear from Mario, let's go upstairs to public address announcer John Barbaro for one final time here at the Civic Arena.
The Pittsburgh Bulls, his last in the National Hockey League, scored by number 66, Mario Lemieux. forward to this night for a long, long time and trying to decide what I was going to say to the great fans of Pittsburgh who have supported my career and supported this franchise for so many years since I came here in 1984. Love you too. And the one thing that I want to say for sure tonight is Thank you for making the last 13 years of my life the best years of my life. I have a lot of great memories from this building, from some great standing ovations that I have received through my many comebacks with back problems and of course with Hodgkin's disease. some of the important goals that I've scored during our Stanley Cup years. And those memories, I think we can all cherish for the rest of our lives. I also would like to thank the Pittsburgh Penguin organization especially my good friend Howard Baldwin and Roger Marino for their friendship and also for being so loyal to me and my family over the years and especially for keeping me in Pittsburgh all these years. I also would like to thank Craig Patrick who came to Pittsburgh in the late 80s and I want to thank him for putting such a great team together for us, for this franchise that had been struggling for so many years and given us the opportunity as a franchise to fulfill our dream to finally bring a Stanley Cup to this great city of Pittsburgh. I also would like to thank the coaches that I've played for over the years, and I've played for some great people, some great coaches, Bob Johnson, the late Bob Johnson, who <laughs> who certainly changed the outlook of our organization, the great Scotty Bowman. And the man who is responsible for me being here today, the man who drafted me in 1984, my good friend, Eddie Johnston. <laughs> 